I'm Denny Daniel. I curate the Museum of Interesting Things, which is a traveling museum. We go to schools, libraries, events like this, and we show people that their iPhones, their iPods didn't pop out of thin air. They came from a long line of inventions. Uh, pretty much most everything on our tables could probably be done by one of your iPhones or iPods. And so we have a quack medical department uh, where we show about all the quack medicines that came out. Now, how did people even get convinced to the, for this stuff? Well, they'd, they'd come out with some sort of invention. And every time somebody invents something or discovers something, there's always a bunch of people that use it correctly. And then there's a bunch of people who use it kind of like, you know, the watch salesman on 42nd Street. He goes, you know, I've got this for you. There's always somebody that kind of does that. So, like, think about, you know, electricity. Somebody will use it, and we'll have all our wonderful light bulbs. Somebody else will use it and start zapping you randomly and telling you that it will cure you of everything. So, of course, I realized this and found it very, very funny. And having watched TV at 3 o'clock in the morning, saw a lot of infomercials, and said, we should add this to the museum, and started adding it. And then when they did this TED Talk, I said, this is a great idea. We should use this as one of the, you know, why people say yes. Um, so some of the items I brought for you right over here. Uh, just give me a moment. I'm, I'm a little bit dry. Do you mind if I just take a swig of water? Is that okay with you guys? I'm just going to take this swig of water over here. I'm sorry, did you think I would use this one? No, no, this is radium water. Because <laughs> clearly you would want radium in your water to be healthier, right? To cure you of everything from, let's say, cancer uh, to maybe even bedwetting. Yeah, they, they would actually put, in fact, you would go to springs and you would bathe in the springs and there would be irradiated springs and then afterwards, if that didn't kill you, you would drink this water and they would finish the job. <laughs> By the way, this one was produced in Massachusetts, so those of you who are from Boston, you're doomed. But New Yorkers aren't safe either. This one is produced in New York. <laughs> and you'll see radium water, and on the bottom it actually says a New York company. So, th <laughs> so the next item, I'm going to have one of uh, my helpers over here. Where is he, Robert? Excellent. And I've known Robert many years. Uh, this will probably be the last year we know you. <laughs> so uh, back in the turn of the century, uh, late 1800s, early 1900s, they came out with something called uh, the, oh God, pronouncing this name, Morixel something, a battery belt. <laughs> and I actually got one. So, <laughs> very smart move. You guys, just uh, you, know, you should take that second and then say, yeah, I changed my mind. <laughs> so what you would do basically is, see these discs? You would put some sort of battery acid onto these discs, and then he would put this around his waist. Go ahead, hold that, Rob. Excellent. And then you would take this over here. Where do you think this goes? Yes, it goes there. Go ahead, Rob, hold that. <laughs> and then this would electrocute you for two hours a day, Rob. You got that? Okay, excellent, good. And this was supposed to make him manly man, and it was also even supposed to cure you. It even says this on here, rheumatism and all these other things. Even pro It probably caused bedwetting, in my opinion. <laughs> and, and once again, it's you know electricity, but Rob, this is very important. I, I don't want you to forget this. These are very important directions. If it starts to burn, take it off. <laughs> and I always think to myself, what was the other option? <laughs> if it stops to burn down there, you, you know, it's coming off. Otherwise, I would think you would open up your black book and call every girl you know and say, honey, I'm ready. It's, stick a fork in it. So give him a hand. He did a great job. <laughs> Let me know what happens tonight. <laughs> So the next item, I've got a wonderful friend, Rogue, who's going to help me out on this one. The vibratory technique. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Basically a vibrator, <laughs> a massager. This one is from the early, uh, early 1900s, but it was invented in the mid-1800s. Everyone already knows the hysteria story, but I actually have a whole book of other things this thing cures you of. Clearly, you must be ill. Okay. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> so we will try this. Uh, where? Uh, the pain over there? Over there on your elbow? Excellent. Good. Oh, over here? Excellent. Good. How about on your nose? Maybe you have a nose, a, a cold. There you go. Excellent. Okay. Now, should we tell you what, you cure, what we cured you of? What am I cured of? Excellent. Good. I will tell you. So right over here. Okay. 
bust development. And clearly, when I walked in this room, I was completely flat. So by tomorrow, <laughs> you'll be just like me. <laughs> and the second one right on the bottom, constipation. Again. Yeah, yeah. excellent, yeah. Because there's a lot of that. <laughs> and then right over here, it cures you of, right after constipation, two pages later, it cures you of diarrhea. Yeah. Yeah, interesting how it goes both ways. <laughs> you like that, huh? I'm thinking constipation, diarrhea. I don't know what you guys are thinking of. <laughs> And then, right after that, it seems like almost every cure I find cures you of bedwetting as well. I don't know, bedwetting and, and rheumatism must have been rampant in the, in the 1800s, early 1900s. Uh, after you uh, put it up your, I guess, who knows where it goes for, for constipation and, and diarrhea, but it also cures you of a sore throat. Because clearly you'd want to use it for your sore throat after it cured you of diarrhea and constipation. Yeah. She's good today now. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Thank you. This one, I'm kind of debuting here today. <laughs> yeah, this is another vibratory technique. <laughs> what do you suppose this one does? <laughs> yeah, this one is clearly a gum massager. You guessed that, right? <laughs> okay, I, I'm just... Checking, because this is a G-rated show, and clearly it would be a gum massager. Yeah, they thought of everything. <laughs> and, and as for the massagers, it really has an entire book of things this would cure you of. And I always like to add a little disclaimer before I get to uh, my last item. With these cures, there's always maybe one or two things that these things actually do. We do use electricity in the medical career. We do use, you know, massagers in chiropractor, chiropractors and in the medical career. And these things have one or two cures. We're not going to throw out the baby with the bath water, uh, which, by the way, I do have uh, a baby teething syrup over here just in case, and that has, of course, morphine in it, because clearly that would be perfect to give your baby. So I always like to tell people there are a f couple of cures with these things, and that's how they get people to kind of believe in it, to say yes. They say to them, oh, this thing can possibly do this, this thing can possibly do that, and here, look, it kind of worked. And then all of a sudden, they convince you of all the other stuff and make you pay. This one was 40 bucks for the belt that Robert wore. The last item I've got my dear friend over here, Chris, to come up for. This is the Violetta Rays, the violet, violet Wands. So this one was basically using the technology that tes Tesla came up with. It had argon gas in it. <laughs> it would glow purple from the argon gas, and then... You want me to try first? <laughs> Go ahead. Wow! Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> I had to do it. Did you ever see Pretty Lady? Pretty Woman? Not bad, huh? Now, mind you, this one was for growing hair, so you're going to have hairy fingers after this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you never touch the bottom part. <laughs> so, and they had one... That was the first time live that happened. <laughs> now this one, so this one was for the men. So later on, guys, you can come up to the stage and I'll brush this onto your head and you'll all come out of here with afros. This one is for the ladies. So you would put this one over here and it would clear you of pimples. And believe it or not, I got an e we got an email from someone a long time ago and he said that he had used the metal one on him and the metal one I tried, and I won't even try it again, it was so harsh. But he actually said his dad used to put him, this on him and he would burn the pimples off of him. And they said it was actually rather useful. And a, a, lot, of, a lot of doctors will use things like this to burn off pimples. So like I said, some of these quack medical devices had proper usage, and some of them, like I said, it was a guy with, you know, trying, a you know, watch salesman selling you something or some, you know, uh, ne you know, nefarious type thing. Give her a hand, she did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> so I always like to tell people that if you see it uh, and it looks too good to be true, it might end up in my museum. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>